This is kind of weird. Uh, welcome back to more Dead Rising 4, guys! We, uh, we've already beat the story. I think I did it in like 25 videos. And uh, after we beat it, we actually got some cool stuff. Like, uh, for instance, the outfit I'm wearing is really ridiculous. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, man. Uh, but check this out. This, this exosuit is always here now. It's the Zero one from Mega Man. It's so fucking badass. I can't wait to try this. Now, the thing is, race. if it runs out, I can just come back and get it again and again. So that's kind of really badass that I can uh, run through the game. I do want to test out some stuff. I was going to tell you guys, thank you so much for making that series big. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Now, I will go ahead and talk a little bit about the end of it. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, this is, whenever you beat it, you can go back and do, like, a random case or whatever. And I, I think I'm, like, on case four, and I'm just kind of messing around. So, I wanted to check out some combo weapons and this suit. All right, what does this thing do when I get the kill, or the hit streak? Here we go. Oh, shit! Dude, this thing is disgusting! Oh, my God. Oh, shit! Time to go. Hang on. I think what's amazing about this is I didn't even know this was in the game. You know? This is like a nod to the first one. Alright, so I had a lot of people go ahead and address it. I had a lot of people asking uh, what I thought about how it ended. But I really didn't touch on it. I, I just was kind of sitting there. Oh, shit. What the hell? That was really weird. The fact that it's not a one-hit kill is disgusting. If these zombies are that difficult to kill. Let me get this one more time. But yeah, there's no way that uh, the game ended. I've heard that there's going to be like DLC where you get more of the story and everything. Now, I don't know if that's true. That's just something I read on the internet, so it has to be true, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's uh, definitely different. I will say that much. I think what I may do right now, I may go back to where we got this suit at. What is that? Hold on. Oh, shit! Now, and I like how that, that ended. I don't even know what this suit's called. I gotta go check it out. Oh, that's free. What the fuck? Ooh. Dude, it's just, it's just legs. I don't know if it's a glitch or if that's like some real shit. I thought I saw hands for a minute. That is the creepiest thing I've seen in such a long time. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Defeat the Maniacs. These are the same ones I've already beat. Uh, I just went out. I think I'm on case four right now. I've just kind of been messing around with the game. I went back. I was trying to find different blueprints. But I think a lot of the stuff you can get, you can just buy from the random uh, vendor. And since I have so much money after beating it, which I'll go ahead and show you kind of like the deal uh, with everything. I, I finished the game level 56 or level 55. Maybe I played a little bit. Uh, it says seven case files completed, which is kind of weird because... It's like there's not really a new game plus, but it's like you can kind of keep playing. Um, I have like no incentive to ever get to level like 100. I mean, it would be cool and all, but it really like it doesn't help us really. Uh, but what I was going to do was keep on playing. I may do some videos here and there if you guys want. Hang on, let me get this. That might actually improve scavenging. I'll take that. Surprisingly, this is one of my favorite games I've played in quite some time. Uh, I didn't think I would like it near as much as Dead Rising 3, but surprisingly, Frank West, man, I mean, just the whole story. Uh, and I'll go ahead and tell you right you now, I don't think relax. he's dead. There's no way. You, you, you don't get this far with a franchise and then, you know, that, that just there's just no way. All right, what have we not seen? We've seen Deck the Halls. Uh, the Acid Maw, I think I showed pieces of that. Are these only... Now, what the hell is that? Oh, we got the flame sword. Hold on. Hey, found oh, shit. Like, huh? And the flaming helmet. Have I messed with that one? Happy to help. I think I'm dropping stuff as I go. Glass knuckles, holiday junk. I don't even know what half the shit does. Ice trap. Jurassic barf. Oh, my God. No Let's problem. go check these out, fellas. Now, wait a minute. I'm wearing this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Hold on, man. Let me get rid of 
Oh, I don't know what to get rid of. You know what I just realized? It remembers what I was using in the game. Uh, I really want to get the flaming helmet. Uh, let's get rid of deck the halls. I think I I overused them just a tad bit. We got to check this out, dude. Look at this. That's so that's so weird. <laughs> like what in the world? It's kind of strange that instead of having to go get all the blueprints, uh, you can just go to different vendors and just buy the combo weapon straight up. Now, I will eventually run out of money, but all right, let's see what this thing does. I'm, I'm, and I think we're in for a treat with this one. Oh, the headbutts. I'm telling you, man, it, this game just turned into Jurassic Park with all the shit I just bought. Hope you guys are having a good holiday, by the way, if you celebrate any of this stuff. I think it's cool that this game was like Christmas theme or whatever. Here he goes. Oh, shit. I gotta do that again. There's more over here. <laughs> I'm still working on figuring out the best path of doing... I'm gonna try it. I wanna do like an insane combo video. Uh, oh wait, so those kinda go hand in hand. Damn! Alright. Let's try this one. This is another one. So it's kinda the same... It's kinda like... It's like Sub-Zero... Uh, not Sub-Zero, but I'm thinking of Scorpion. Okay, it's the same. Oh, okay. I'm thinking reptile and scorpion. Sub Zero would be the, be the. If there's an ice one, that would be that. Kind of a nod to it. Uh, flame sword. I have not seen the combo for that. So there's so many combos that we haven't seen. All right, here we go. Oh shit! Get singed, bitches. All right, that, I think that's everything that I just used. I've shown you guys the. Gandalf, or whatever the hell this thing's called. I'll do it again just for those who have not seen it. I think with Dead Rising 3, I did several little videos, uh, but the combos were like broken up a little different. I think there's somebody near me, so I need to go like make sure I don't get broken off. Yeah, there's this, it's this guy in the gas station. I'm gonna leave him there. Fuck him. I don't even need it. Uh, let's see. Head back this way, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'll probably wind up doing. I'm gonna go to each vendor and see if there's any... Oh, let me let me kill these guys. I'm curious how much damage this thing does. Uh-oh. First aid kit. But yeah, I, I think how the game ended, it kind of caught me off guard. It, it honestly kind of fucked me up a little bit. I was like... Uh, all right, Frank West, there's obviously he's going to live. And I'll tell you right now, you don't get a franchise this far off of one character. And then, well, I guess you had Chuck Green and then the other guy. Oh, what is it? Can, can you beat somebody to death with a gingerbread man? Huh? What's that? A gingerbread man. Oh, they knocked him over. Are you kidding? All right, I really want to try. There's exosuit combos that I've also seen. Let me look at the combo, I guess the combo weapon list. And we can kind of get a feel for how much more we got. Uh, we've only seen a handful. Now, I don't... It almost seems like... Slicing Beauty. When did I... Have I made that? I think I... Oh, wait. Tripod Zapper. Uh, I need a tripod, obviously. So I gotta find, like, a camera store or something. Let me go back. Range weapons. Uh, we've... This was... The, the Blambo was the very first one in the game. All right. I think I'll be a little more prepared next video if I do another one because I was thinking I could just buy enough from the vendor. And it actually worked out. It's kind of my favor, so. All right, let me run back over there. I got to see what this outfit's called because it's driving me crazy. Our current holiday special Guys, I've been driving around the map for a second. I'm actually still trying to get my way towards the mall. Uh, but the fact that I've almost got my max combo, there's another... I gotta keep it going somehow. Ah, uh, it's gonna break. Let me help out. He puts a hat back on. I love it. No, yeah, keep it going. Let's see if I can keep it going. Hold on. All right, good, good, good. Does it still go? Yes. Oh, here we go, guys. Nice. 
Yo, Hostile is a free survivor. Every time I go around different areas, it just like pops up with more and more uh, of those random encounters. So it's not like the old Dead Rising games where I thought it would be like you have to do so much stuff to actually get uh, a good ending or bad ending or whatever. I'm trying to think if I... Oh, you know what? I didn't do this. Uh, somebody asked me as far as ranking the uh, Dead Rising games. I would have to say that... I don't know. The first one and the second one are like... Just bar none some of the best zombie games I've ever played. The first one kind of caught a lot of people off guard. It came out of nowhere. And it was almost like Capcom's masterpiece for zombie games. Um, and then the second one really built off that. They, I, I'm pretty sure they used a lot of the same... A lot of the same, like, everything. Whatever the engine was, all that stuff. And what's funny is I actually met... I remember in 2013, little story time, uh, I went to Canada uh, for Splinter Cell Blacklist, I think it was for Ubisoft, and uh, one of the guys there that dealt with like the, I guess it was like a room where they film like an actual person doing all like the motions and everything, the motion capture room, it was a huge room, cameras everywhere. Uh, but I actually met a guy who was one of the bosses, he was a couple of the different bosses in Dead Rising 2. And, uh, just getting to meet a lot of those people, just like a dream come true, to be honest, so. Alright, I got sidetracked. Uh, we're here, but we just have to get in the mall now, so. <laughs> let's try to get, get the hell out of this section. I remember this area, okay. First off, I thought it was in here. Singing Santa. Oh, the fucking swordfish! Oh, there's a, uh, thing down here, too. Let me drop this. Grab the cell phone. This is creepy, man. Well, for one thing, I love Christmas. I'm, I'm all about looking out for my fellow man. Huh? And, um, plus the mall, it's, it's, uh, it's so really big, you know? And I, I want to get in on the ground floor. Shit! Really help build something in this town. It's interesting. Are you also looking at all, Darcy? Oh, shit! Because I am. And I googled you, as I do all the applicants, just before your interview. It's kind of weird, man. It's like yeah, saying there's a blueprint right here, but every time I go there, there's nothing, uh... Make a difference, right? Maybe it's, yeah, it could be above me. That's like the only thing I could think of. Alright, we're getting pieces of the story. Alright, let's look around back here, just in case. Almost looks like it's in this corner. I, oh, shit! I don't know, guys. Kind of driving me nuts right now. I see the singing Santa. Unless it's a, something I've already gotten and it's just still on the map, I don't... I thought it would go away. Unless... Hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, there's nothing on the roof right there. There's no way to get above it, either. I don't think so. Do not think so. This is kind of a weird little section, man. Little, uh... I'm about to beat somebody to death with this. That's kind of funny. It's just kind of weird, like, my combo just reset for no reason. Now, something I've seen in this game a lot... Now, hold on. Graffiti, you know what? Oh wait, let me take a picture. Let me, I'm probably gonna get attacked by a zombie. Ow, come on! <laughs> yeah, I've seen those everywhere in the game, so that makes sense that they're actually, uh... They actually mean something, so... That's so weird, like... I wonder if you can climb these houses. I don't know, but I'm gonna figure that shit out later, but I want to say thank you guys for just supporting the series. This is kind of a little bonus video. I guess if this does well, you can definitely expect me to uh, mess around. I'm gonna get probably like some combo blueprints already collected if I do another video, and that way when we start it, I'll just have stuff ready to go. So, 
I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Hang on, let me get let me get to where I can face you. And you guys have a safe one. Take it easy, guys. Uh.